Good morning, it's Kim Marie. What a gorgeous, another gorgeous day out. It's like yesterday was in the 70s. It was so beautiful. But um, I have a question for you. Do you walk your talk? Because a lot of people think they are and they're not. They, uh, they're actually the one that's sabotaging their success. And I know it all too well. I think we all do it, right? It's not like I think I'm better or I think that, uh, that you know, you arrive and that you're always in, uh, in alignment. But the goal is to get as in alignment with your core values, goals, and dreams so that we don't do that. But how do we do that? We do that a lot of the time by... Um, thinking we know better. So like one example is uh, I had a, a new friend who said that she had this book that she wanted to do it was a 40 day book. And uh, that every time that she asked someone to do it, they didn't want to, or they didn't, or they just kind of dropped it and didn't hold, you know, have that accountability. So I said, well, what book is it? And it was a good book. So I said, I'll do it with you. And um, we started to do it. And it's stuff I already know, but the, it's not about that. Practice, doing practices and knowing, knowing of something or knowing something are two different things. Doing the practice of brings you back into that flow. It brings you back into alignment. So your energy starts shifting. And so all these little practices that maybe we have done once or twice in our life, um, it, it's not a once or twice thing. It's a, it's a way to be in alignment. It's a way to, you know, to be priming the pump, sort of speak. So we start doing this book study and I, uh, or this accountability. And it's not like we were going to talk all the time, but we were going to hold each other. And then I said, well, how far, far along are you on the book? It's almost done. And I'm not saying this to make fun of her at all. It's just an example. And I've done the same thing in my life too. But, um, she said, well, I found this other book and it's really helping me. It's so good. And, um, so I've started to really dive into this one. And I thought to myself, well, I know the only reason I'm passionate about this and understand this is like when people start my program and then they start getting results. So then they, they get out of the surrender mode and they get into back into their own head of, oh, more is better. Well, maybe I should do this too. And maybe I should do that too. And maybe I should do this too. And so they water down the amount of energy they're really putting into the one system that works. Pick one, pick one, do it. And if you commit to it, remember you're committing to yourself. So I said to myself, should I call her out on this? Because I don't know, I just didn't want to make her feel bad. And Anyway, so then as I run into her, her life's not working. She said she had several meltdowns. And this is what happens when we, it's a, it's a simple example. It's not an extreme example, but it's a simple example of how we get in our own way. So she stopped doing the book. She started doing this one and then she started doing that and then this and then that. And we're back here. We're not in our heart. We're not in our listening to our guidance. We're not checked in. We're not congruent with what we have pro promised ourselves when we make a commitment. That's also a promise to yourself, right? So how do we do this? How do we not walk our talk? Um, just a, another example is when we're really um, judging another situation and saying that we want love and joy and peace and harmony in our relationships. Well, you can't really have both. You know, we, we really can't, um, it just, it doesn't work that way. If we're showing frustration or, or we're holding on to resentment over here, then we're going to have convoluted energy come toward us. It may not be from the same person or the same situation, but we can't give, we can't be in one energy and expect another. It, it just doesn't work. Our energy is like a frequency. So our, so it's like dialing into a radio station. You can't dial into frustration station and end up getting love as a result. It doesn't work that way. You don't get harmony. You don't get grace. You don't get peace. You don't get any of that. So when we dial into fear or lack, even if we don't know how we're going to pay that bill. We don't know how that thing is going to come um, our way. 
if we're dialed into lack, we cannot get flow. We cannot get abundance. We cannot get clarity or grace or any of those things because we're not dialed in. It's not that you're not worthy of it. It's not that you did something wrong. It's not that you have to work harder at it. It's that you dialed into the wrong station. So it's really as simple as that. Simple, not always easy because we are in this human experience and this human experience has all these moving parts. It's easy to get distracted and justify throwing our, our core values, goals, dreams, plans under the bus to people please because we think, well, hey, that will, you know, we're being nice, we're being selfless, so that's got to give us some reward. Well, no, it doesn't. It doesn't give you a reward because there's always a win-win, you know, aborting your uh, plans or not that you, you can't change your plans, but when you're committed to something that's, that's an investment in you and that investment in you is going to invest in your relationships and your health and your and your prosperity and your abundance and your in the in being a better version of yourself then if you are going to shift that commitment then be very clear that that's what you're doing and be very clear because otherwise you're abandoning it and what happens is when we abandon our goals dreams core values needs all of that when we abandon it the world a bit we feel abandoned in the world and then we wonder why because that's what we I've been mentioning about how the world will treat us how we are within ourselves it's those kind of examples or you know feeling like you know we want to fight a fight right but but we're fighting we're not in love mode we're not going to get joy peace or freedom we're going to get we're going to get a fight Right? Because whatever we resist persists. So it's not that you let people steamroll all over you or that you, you, uh, you bend your core values or that you succumb to something that isn't in alignment with you. It's not that at all. If your beliefs are strong about um, whatever it is, not wanting to jump on that bandwagon, then don't jump on it. Don't do it. Be true to your heart. But don't fight what someone else is doing do what you do be within you be clear of who you are even when the world wants to prompt you on this journey of needing to protect and needing to hold on and needing to fight and meeting needing to have this stance then you're not love joy peace or freedom either and it's not coming to you so i am committed to one thing this is what i know in myself there's a lot of ways to skin a cat there's a lot of ways to get to the same to the same goal and my goal is joy peace freedom love and how I do that is with faith and if I am not and faith and love are opposite energies um, so faith means that I that I know without a shadow of a doubt that if I check in and I plug in with my inner guidance, I'm going to land on my feet. I don't know what that's going to look like. And it may be by the skin of my butt, but I will land on my feet. I know this. I know this. It's happened over and over and over and over again. And because I know it, I, I, I do stay plugged in. And then I do get the next right thing. And when I don't stay plugged in and I go in fear, usually my life starts toppling over and I have to start all over again, uh, getting back to the basics. So the basics are stay plugged in and stay focused. When, when something in your body starts to speak to you and say and make you anything other than joy, peace, or freedom, and you have this twinge in your body, you're out of alignment, period. You are. No, not the other person, not the other situation. You are. We got to get ourselves back. It's the only thing we have control over. And the truth is, is that every time I get back into alignment with my heart and my goals and, and my core values, then as I stay there and I don't worry about what other people are doing, I notice that things show up differently around me. So I challenge you today to look at where you may be tripping yourself. And are you in love or are you in fear? 
Love means that you are in belief, you are in compassion, you are being inquisitive, you're being guided, you're plugged in. That means forgiveness, that means that means giving grace, that means looking and uh, giving the, the benefit of the doubt, right? Not immediately judging, immediately, because 99.9% .9 of discord, I believe, is misunderstanding and miscommunication anyway. We can't always see the bigger picture. We can't always see it. What we can do is, is focus on how we're gonna show up and focus on what kind of experience we want to have. So, reach out, give me a comment, let me know. I've, I've had a few, several people tell me that they like the videos or their comments on it, but it's really good to know, or is, is there something you wanna talk about? Is there something that, is this helping? Or you, can you share it? I would love that. That would be amazing for me. That helps me to keep the conversation going. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.